Good afternoon. So, heavy duty political conclave, very expected, tectonic election coming, but at the same time, Bengal without culture, without Shottujit Rai, when we are celebrating the 100th year of the maestro, cannot complete a conclave like ours. So, I will start with a Shottujit Rai question to all my panelists, each of them distinguished, each of them icons in their own right and then get to somebody who, because 25 minutes or 30 minutes is not enough to discuss Shottujit Rai. So I will get to Peluda specifically, because for a national audience, and our whole, whole point here is, have we celebrated Ray enough? And perhaps the best example to debate, discuss this, is this character, Peluda. And we've got two people who have played Peluda, for a long time, Benuda has done that, Shobhushachi Chakraborty. Most recently, Tota has done that, Tota Rai Choudhury. And the person who's made Peluda for the OTT platform, his next one coming out in May, iconic Bengali director, was, was a junior of mine in college, Srijit Mukherjee. So that's how I want to go about this particular session. Srijit, I'll start with you. Have we celebrated Shottujit Rai enough? Uh, centenary happening, where is the national presence in that sense? Do you feel it's our fault in Bengal? Do you feel India has not done enough? What's your take on it? Uh, at an international level and at a regional level, if I may use the term, obviously we have, we still do, he's a part of our everyday life. But at the national level, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed that we, I think, have not uh, celebrated Ray enough. A very telltale sign of that is, uh, if you look at the Pan-Indian diaspora and if you ask people about Satyajit Ray, their, uh, their knowledge is, is very blurry. Uh, a lot of people don't know what are the films that he directed, how he uh, brought glory for India in the international stage. and. Uh, it didn't help that his only foray into Hindi films was Shatranj Ke Khilari. So apart from that, uh, somehow it is, it is, it's, it's, it's been a bane for Indian film industry that until and unless you do Hindi films, you're not considered to be an uh, Indian uh, national film director, which is obviously absolutely uh, basis we've seen uh, most of the films which have done commercially well and in fact, you know, has got festival laurels from abroad, prestigious festivals. I've been mostly from uh, Maharashtra, you know, uh, Marathi films, Telugu films, Tamil films, Bengali films. So, quote unquote, the regional film industry has always, in actuality, uh, dominated the film scenario. But some of the perception is India is equal to Bollywood. And uh, though he did win the Filmfare Award, for Shatranj Ke Khilari, his single foray in Bollywood, I think uh, it has left a very um, uh, kind of a half-baked image of the man in the, in the pan-Indian imagination and of course the comment that he was selling poverty in mm -hmm. Pothar Pachali, that didn't help the cause either. So, okay. yeah. Benuda, Srijit said internationally and uh, regionally we have, but if I ask this audience, for example, how many know Sherlock Holmes and how many know Peluda, except the people from Bengal, how many actually know Peluda will be, will be a tough one. Having said that, in all our lives, Peluda is all pervasive. I mean, each of us have lived with the man, we will die with the man. Why is it that Peluda has remained Bengali and has not become international? Well, as far as uh, his writings are concerned, most of his Peluda books have been translated in various languages all over the world, which has been translated in French, Italian, uh, including Japanese and uh, other languages. As far as the literature goes, I mean, as far as his writings go about Peluda, uh, it has, uh, may not be that it has uh, gained a lot of popularity, but then it has, um, it has reached the masses. Okay. But then uh, these, uh, only the books are, as far as Shrotu Jitra is concerned, only the books have not done justice. And uh, I, I feel that uh, his stories, if 
they would have been made in the, in the uh, other foreign languages, it could have made a, a, a greater impact. But yes, um, Shotujit Rai, uh, besides, as Sujit said, that uh, he made Shatranj Ke Kilari, he had done a few in Hindi uh, for the television. So uh, his first telefilm is Sadgati, mm -hmm. yeah. which he did for television. And uh, later on, um, he did Shotujit Rai Presents. Yeah, yeah. And uh, which were uh, a lot of Hindi productions which were shown on television. But then, um, as far as Peluda is concerned, when Shashi Kapoor, an able candidate to play Peluda, um, when he played Peluda, and... Did he do he justice to Peluda? I think he did justice. And um, it was appreciated all over India not so in Bengal. Yeah, and that's, that's the most important question, that can Peluda have a tummy? Can Peluda look overweight? Can Peluda be a particular kind where we Bengalis will not associate? Tota, why is he successful as Peluda? Is why he, you, you take a look and you know why. So Tota, my question to you is, if Srijit makes Peluda for Bollywood, Will that help? Why is Poirot or Sherlock or Wolander, anyone you call, is, is way more international than Peluda yet? Has Babuda, by not giving the rights, by trying to tell us that Peluda is more Bengali, has he actually done a bit of a disservice to Peluda and to his father? No, but Veluda is Bengali by nature because I believe that uh, I read just one book written, uh, uh, translated in English, and uh, the essence was lost in translation. I just simply couldn't get that feel, that vibe that you get by reading a Bangal, at a Banglai Peluda. Uh, I will quote Ritu Pornu Ghosh. Uh, we worked in a film together, a film called Sunglass. He made double versions of it. One was in Hindi and the other one was in Bangla. I think on the fifth or the sixth day, he took me aside and said in Bengali that, nah, what you are doing is, uh, is my film. What Madhavan is doing is a Hindi film. It's not my film. I said, why do you say that? He's, he's following instructions. He's following your instructions, your directions. He said that, no, those words are not mine. Those words are not mine. The, the language that you're speaking in, the intonations, the conundrum, the everything, the, ev the, whole, the whole effect is what I wanted, but I, I am simply helpless because I can't, I, ha I don't have the grasp over Hindi. And then onwards, he never attempted to make a Hindi film. Same as, yeah. So if this is the case, uh, so will Peluda and in turn Ray remain confined to Bengal? I mean, will you, for example, you've done Chinnamastar Obhishap, which is supremely successful if you see over the last couple of months, Will you not attempt it, say, for Bollywood or for an international audience? Or are you scared that you cannot actually make that Bengaliness come real? Is this, is this an apprehension? Uh, not really. First of all, I think Babuda has given a lot of Hindi rights away for uh, Peluda stories, so they are available. It's not that they are not. Uh, there is one name which we are missing in this uh, discussion, which is, I think, a very potent name, that is Bomkesh Bakshi. Yep. Now, Bomkesh is also written by one of the iconic writers of Bengal, Shorod Hindu on the Vardai. So, there is Bangaliana there as well. So, I think this lost in translation logic, it, I do not agree with it. So, I will disagree with uh, Tota there. And in association with Rituda as well. Uh, because uh, maybe that applies for Rituda's screenplay, but for a, a, a franchisee or for, for a canon like uh, Peludas, I don't think it's applicable because there are stories which go beyond the Bangaliana uh, mood or flavor and it gets into human psychology, it gets into solid plotting, you know, there are plot points, it, it follows the structure of a who done it or a how done it in a very classical way. Something which you uh, set in a, maybe in a different era or a, in a different time or uh, you, you sort of tweak a little thing there 
little thing uh, uh, which could accommodate technology if you if you are obviously changing the timeline then i think it can definitely be made into hindi i i don't see uh, any why, impediment why? over there but benoda tell me something two questions one for you one for uh, tota one uh, while feluda remains very bengalian coming back to bengal while anyone who goes to london will go to 221 baker street and go and see that sherlock holmes museum which is a makeshift thing obviously did not exist why is it that we do not have a peluda museum in bengal is this a problem with our government why are we not celebrating peluda in why is it that there are no commercial merchandise for for peluda if i want to go into a store on park street buy something uh, which is peluda t-shirt anything why will i not get him is it a problem with us in bengal that we don't know how to commercialize is it a problem what is the pro why can't we have a peluda museum i um, always said that we should have a museum um, but the uh, the greatest disaster here is we don't even have a museum for shotujit rai who is a greater entity than peluda himself uh, peluda as a character so i think we firstly should have a museum on shotujit rai and then uh, we can later on think about a museum for peluda because uh, shotujit rai's creations are are far more than anything else i mean it's not just restricted to making films so uh, firstly i think uh, yes we are lacking enterprise i think uh, we i think uh, uh, we should give it a good uh, a push i mean everyone should uh, try their little bit to see that uh, uh, shotujit rai museum comes up so and uh, to uh, add on to what uh, srijit had said but there are certain things in peluda which are very very bengali and when he says um, uh eta, he says uh, to, uh, in bengali to lal mohan babu eta apni bhabben na eta kore nao jabe ari apni jeta bhabchen seta bhul so lal mohan babu says bojho how do you do that in hindi and uh, he says ei bhabei jodi cholte thake tale amar ki hobe peluda says bote how do you do that in hindi or in any other language interesting so mr obran after you win your polarizing election please think of a peluda museum because that's not something that uh, is too far from you you must tota coming to you you've done a lot of cultural work you've done you've been in this industry for a long long time have people started identifying you i will ask benuda the same question do they call you tota do they call you peluda now uh, well an interesting thing happened uh, during the film festival this year uh, i was backstage one of my film was at the closing uh, uh, the, on the closing day and when i came out these people they know me for the last 10 15 20 years many of them instead of calling me by my name tota they said pillow that touch chobi pillow that touch chobi so that stuck me i went inside i told sriji sriji these people are calling me by peluda my 20 years of work just one character i play and uh, that vanishes overnight and i'm called peluda so that's the magic of the character sriji you act same question to you you've done so much you've won national awards you've won all of it how important was this chinno mostar obishap and subsequently uh, the next one which will come out jotokando katmandu how important is this for you see uh connecting with the audience is very important but that connection can happen at various levels so with a lot of my films i have connected at a cerebral level some at an emotional level peluda was primary a very emotional response from the audience the audience they they kind of they loved it they uh, they uh, kind of uh, celebrated it but what i the difference i could i could understand in that kind of a response is that it was coming from long lost afternoons you know these people they have gone away from the country maybe someone is sitting in germany someone is sitting in holland uh, but the people who were appreciating were actually these guys uh, 20 years back or 30 years back from that space they were appreciating and i could feel that emotion i could feel the nostalgia i could feel that gratitude you know that you've given us back time uh, which we had uh, uh, we, which we have left far behind and it gives us back those afternoons those memories the smell of a new printed peluda you know small uh, uh, yeah, very very yeah. small uh, slim uh, peluda 
uh, books. So a lot is associated with. So Peluda is not just a sleuth. You know, it, it, it encapsulates the growing up of an entire generation. Now, that gratitude, that emotional response, I could understand. Benuda, that's the point. I mean, when, when my father died and I was coming back from Oxford, I obviously was in that zone. And on the flight back, I was holding a Peluda book. I wasn't reading. I don't even remember what I was doing, but I was holding a Peluda book because he was survival. For us in Bengal, Peluda is hope, he's aspiration, he's belief, he's, he's confidence, he's respect, he's dignity. He's an international voice speaking out to an international world. In your, in your oeuvre of work, how important has Peluda been? Well, I have uh, just, um, let me tell you, I'm not a formally uh, trained actor. So I have, I grew up the hard way, you know, because I was, uh, my director didn't spare the rod. So um, uh, that's how I grew up in theatre and I have portrayed the character just the way the director wanted it to be done. So I have not really analysed how uh, Peluda should be and what Peluda has actually done as far as the film. But how is. important has Peluda been for you in portraying someone who is so important in the Shottujit Rai oeuvre for you? Uh, because we that we think it's Shomitra Babu, you, Tota now. So how important has it been for you? It has been very important for me because I always wanted to play Peluda. And because this is a character, um, as everyone, um, uh, every boy has his own idol, my idol was my father. And my father uh, resembled a lot of Peluda traits. And so um, I wanted to be like my you father. actually met Ray, right? Huh? Yeah, he he, he actually, went to Ray went and to said, to allow me to play yeah. Peluda. That's what he did, right? Uh, that's what I did. I, went, I walked up to Shotujit and said, I want to play Peluda. And he said, uh, well, I have stopped making Peluda. You can talk to my son. And when I said, TK, I'm not going to disturb you anymore, sir. So I, I stood up and he said, Koto. I said, six, one and a half. He said, I'm six, four. <laughs> I said, I know that, sir. Unbelievable. Last few minutes. Srijit, if you, if you really want to sort of, you know, the way the torchbearer of the Bengali film industry from Ray to now, what are the things that you have imbibed from him? Is he still the where you want to reach? How important is Ray in your own collection of work? He is obviously uh, the person everyone looks up to. I mean, if someone says that I don't look up to... Uh, Ray, I, I don't know. I mean, I, 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 that universe is something which is beyond my comprehension. Because if you look at his filmmaking, he's, he's that storyteller who can appeal to people across intellectual sensibilities, across age, across gender, across social divides. You know, he's, he's like that constant. He's like the pole star who's always giving you that direction. You know, whenever you're lost, you're wondering, what dialogue should come in this particular sequence? Or am I actually writing too much? Should there be more brevity to the entire sequence? Or maybe, you know, uh, even if you're thinking that uh, how much of uh, a balance there should be between interior and exterior shots, screen writing, dialogues, costumes, the detailing, the research. So he's, he's he, I mean, there was a Shottujitra Film and Television Institute much before the actual SRFTI was born. You know, yeah. that institute was in Bishop Lefroy Road. He was actually a building. He had floors. Each floor had rooms. Each room had libraries. Each library had books. Each, each book had chapters. So he was that layered uh, an inspiration. So I think it's, it's, it's very difficult, as you said, to capture that influence in 25 minutes or 30 minutes. L last question each uh, before I close this session. Tota, I'll start with you. Uh, now that you are playing one of the most iconic characters from one of the most iconic people this state will ever produce, not simply has produced, what does that mean for you? Honestly, it means uh, total reinvention. And I, yeah, after playing this, I got several pairs of eyeballs which probably never wanted to look at my work or didn't think that my work would be interesting to them. That whole group of 15 plus people, 15 to 25. Now, I, a, few, a few months back, I was their moms, their aunties, or their didis, uh, 
favorite actor. Now, after playing that, I have become their favorite actor. Well, Benuda, tough one. How good is Tota? Now that you've seen him as Benuda, I think he's uh, he's very good. He's extremely good, and I think um, uh, he'll do justice as uh, time rolls by and. Uh, with the uh, stories to come i think we can look up to it a young shomitra babu a young benuda a young tota choose i'll just come to that uh, that torture chamber which you just presented to me but uh, before that i would like to add something that benuda actually called tota immediately after watching chinnavasta and that phone call means a lot to both me and tota we obviously wanted to show it to shomitra chatterjee Shomitra Jethu, but uh, we couldn't. Uh, he only saw some stills which he liked, but he couldn't actually. He did, right? He sh he yes, saw some yes, stills. Yes, 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 yes. So Anirban Chakraborty, the person who yeah. plays Jotayu, he was acting in a in a in a film with uh, Shomitra uh, Jethu. So he showed him the pics, and Shomitra Jethu was very very looks very good. So he was very very uh, appreciative. So these are all you know our our. Okay, uh, so my time is up. So you give us the news point now, Srijit, for the Bengali audience. When is the next? Peluda coming out. When are we expecting that? Give us a date. What's happening? We are uh, targeting May, uh, second May. His, his, For Shrutu Jindal. Yes, uh, that is our, our target. But again, it is it has become such a huge success. The producer now they are, they have gone back to the drawing boards and they are now redrawing on the plans of advertisement and promotion and marketing because this one they even want to go bigger. So. That's that's and post this, you're doing another one. You you have plans? Yes, for the next twenty twenty five years. Yes. Wonderful. <laughs> so let me finish on these lines. Srijit said there is a Shottujit Rai dialogue for every context, and he's right. And I will take uh, Mr. O'Brien again here. So it's the BJP versus the Trinamool on stage at the India Today Conclave East and both have been given one dialogue. So Mr. O'Brien gets the first crack. He looks at the BJP fellow and very peluda, very Shottujitra, he says, highly suspicious. And that chap looks and says, Apna ke to cultivate kutte hoche, Moshai. I need to cultivate you. That's how important Shottujitra is for all of us. I thank my panelists, Srijit Mukherjee, Shobhoshachi Chakraborty and Tota Rai Chaudhary for gracing the India Today Conclave East. And thank you for being a wonderful audience.